God bless you and greetings to you in the wonderful name of our living Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I received this message today, March 29th, and it goes as follows. Son of man, write, I have issued forth my proclamations, warnings, sound of the alarms, by way of my written word, the Holy Spirit, messengers, prophets, spokesmen. I have issued warnings, sounded in the heavens by way of my scriptures, being written in the stars, sun, moon, blood moons, solar eclipses, comets, asteroids, planetary shifts, cosmic rays, solar sunspots, solar eruptions and explosions, unknown to mankind objects in space, unknown to mankind but known to me. I have sent dreams, visions, angelic visitations, unknown, man, unknown to mankind phenomenon but known to me. I have sent earth signs, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, droughts, hurricanes, typhoons, sinkholes, animal die-offs, extreme weather, drought in some areas, flooding in other areas, massive oceanic living creature, wildlife and plant life die-offs, new kinds of signs in the waters of the earth, excuse me, waters turning to blood, earth opening up sinkholes in various places, insect die-offs in some areas, insect plagues in other areas, bird die-offs, and yet for all of this, many of my people either scoff and mock or remain asleep. <clears throat> I am finalizing my warnings. Their time is coming to a close. Mankind, in collusion with the fallen ones, are attempting to break down the dimensional walls of separation I established long ago to separate wicked and evil spirits, fallen ones, and demons from the race of mankind for mankind's protection. The rulers of the world have and are conspiring with Satan and the fallen ones to provoke me to anger. They know once the dimensional walls have been successfully breached, evil will attempt to overflow the earth. Currently, my restrainer is in place, but once removed, there will be little left to hold back the hordes of evil that want to invade the earth, your planet. I call out to my bride with an urgency to prepare herself for departure. Many of my bride hearken to my voice while others of my children mock, scorn, and curse my bride as they are obedient to my commands to ready themselves for departure. Those who insist on mocking, scorning, cursing my bride will not be leaving with my bride. I will grant them their request, their insistence that they be left behind. They know not what they ask for, nor what they request. But I will grant the request as they speak, for they have not readied themselves properly to meet me, as is recorded in my word. They will wish they had not been so foolish, but alas for them, the door will be shut for a time. The continual mocking, scorning, name-calling, cursing of my bride by those outside of my bride has been and is being duly noted by my recording angels. Mankind will be held accountable for their words. You have been warned again. But if those people knew my scriptures, they would have already known that. Those who consider themselves to be prophets or spiritual take note. You are held to a higher standard because you have been given much and much is expected of you. Repent, 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 for the time of departure nears 
and more and more evil is being released and allowed to enter into the world in which you live. A little longer now, and I will come for my bride. The bride I am coming for is without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. They have made themselves ready to meet their bridegroom. I love all of my children dearly. I desire none to be left behind. I am coming for a bride who has prepared herself. Have you prepared yourself? My other children, who miss the rescue of my bride, will still have a chance to be with me. But when the bride is removed, the times will change. Different set of conditions will apply. Law will abound, and the rules of law will be in effect. Breaking my law during those days will result in quick, severe, and swift judgment. Those who keep my law my laws, excuse me, during this time of trouble will still receive the reward of everlasting life. However, it may result in the death of your mortal bodies in order to receive salvation. Those who save their lives by taking the mark of the beast, denying my name, Jesus Christ, will lose their lives, both physical and spiritual. Those who give up their lives for my sake, the martyrs, the rejectors of the mark of the beast, will gain everlasting life. My children, stop fighting among yourselves, falsely accusing your brethren of things you know not of. I see things perfectly. I see things clearly. You do not. You look through a glass darkly. Until we meet face to face, then you shall know even as you are known. Put away all idols, children, Put me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, first in everything you think, say, and do. Then you will have things in proper alignment and harmony. I have issued my warnings. I have issued forth my plans via my messengers and prophets. I have told you how to prepare to meet me. I have told you how to prepare to help those left behind. I have told you the season in which you live. The signs in the sun, moon, and stars, signs in the earth, on the earth, and above the earth. I have told you that I'm coming back quickly and soon. Take heed, my bride and children. Actually, let me re-say that. Take heed, my children and bride. That's the way he worded it. Take heed and prepare yourselves. I love you, my children. I love you. I don't want any to perish or be left behind. Your bridegroom is coming for his bride. Your king is coming for his kingdom and his people. Okay. That's what I received today. Um, the 29th of March in the year 2015. Again, um, use the sermon. You know, you can uh, check it out. Whichever way you know you feel you got to check it out. My job is to speak, and I do that. And then there's some people that um, love to hear the words the Lord gives me to share, and there's other people that don't. Well, if you don't, then you don't. You know you don't have to like me or anything. But I'm not going to put up with name calling and bashing. Um, you know if you don't like it move along and go somewhere you do like um, recently I've been reading about Noah and some of the things he endured uh, leading up before the flood and I just finished uh, with the exception of uh, half of Zephaniah and Malachi I finished up an Old Testament study of the prophets and the message they kept resounding was very, very similar, the same, the same, the same. Israel just wouldn't get it together, wouldn't keep it together. They kept afflicting the poor, the widows, the orphans. They kept kept using dishonest weights and measures. They attacked people they didn't like with words. They tried to uh, make more and more money and get more and more wealth. Um, and they just left the Lord behind. They kept going to false gods and false idols. 
and um, it was all about money for them and wealth and power and prestige kind of like it is here in America and other parts of the world I just want to conclude by saying um, the tone of this is serious the tone of this message is serious I don't know how much longer we have I'm not a date setter um, all I know is what he tells me and I don't add to that at all um, when he says I come quickly I come soon that's what it means you know, I can't put a date to soon or quickly um, at the end of the book of Revelation it says behold I come quickly and my reward is with me well, that was 2,000 years ago um, but that's what he said that's what he meant of course to us here we are what appears to be the end um, end of days or at least it would appear to some of us that way and when he says I come soon I come quickly what does that mean I don't know I don't put dates on it so the people that are relentless on dates or the people that were relentless on setting dates I am um, caution you don't put words in the Lord's mouth um, just if he tells you something and he tells you to share it then share it share what he wants you to share um, that's what I urge you as a brother in Christ so I'm going to keep this shorter than some of them um, I love you guys God bless you you are the best and hopefully uh, we're getting out of here soon or quickly as he says and before we know it we'll be out of here I hope so God bless you. I love you. Until next time, if there is one, amen.